Okay, in this video we're going to look at converting fractions to percentages. There's two different ways that I often convert fractions to percentages. One method is to uh, find an equivalent fraction with 100 on the denominator. And the other method is to change it to a decimal. So watch the video on fractions to decimals. And then it's easy to change that to a percentage. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. Okay, so we're going to convert 7 tenths to a percentage. So there's two methods to do that. The first method is to write 7 over 10, and to try and get the bottom uh, number, the denominator, to be 100. So if we were to times both of these numbers by 10, we would get 70 over 100. So then that would be 70%, because 70 out of 100 is 70%. The second method is to divide the top by the bottom to get it as a decimal, and then times it by 100 to get a percentage. So we do 7 divided by 10, Use the bus shelter method for that, so 7 divided by 10. Remember, the number you're dividing goes under the bus shelter. Now, you know this is going to be a decimal number, so put a decimal point in some zeros and extend the line and put a decimal point above the other decimal point. So, 10 into 7 doesn't go, and the 7 is a remainder. 10 into 70 goes 7 times. So, 7 divided by 10 is 0 0.7. If we times this 0 0.7 by 100, we would then get that to be 70%. So both methods change the 7 times to a percentage. This one's very useful whenever the bottom number is a factor of 100, whenever you can times it just by 10 or by 2 or by 4 to get it to become 100. The second method is very useful because it will always work, and it's, it's useful whenever the bottom number is a bit trickier, whenever it's not a factor of 100. Okay, this time we're going to convert 17 twentieths to a percentage. So again, the 20 is a factor of 100, so this is quite straightforward. We can write 17 over 20. Now, if you want to times 20 by a number to get 100, you could you times it by 5. So if we times both of these numbers by 5, you would get 100 on the bottom line. So we just need to do 17 times 5. You can use the grid method for that, so do 10 and 7, and do your 5. 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 7 is 35, add them together, you get 85. So it's 85 out of 100. Now, 85 out of 100, well then that's 85%. The second method is to do 17 divided by 20. So we're going to do 17 divided by 20. Again, you know it's going to be a decimal number, so we're going to do 17, and then we're dividing the bus shelter, 20. Put a decimal point and some zeros, and extend your um, bus shelter. 20 into uh, 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 20 into 17 doesn't go, remainder 17. Now we need to see how many 20s go into 17, or sorry, 170. So do 20 times tables, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, so 120, 140, 160. Okay, so 180. So 20 into 170 goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, remainder 10. So 8, remainder 10. And 20 into 100 goes 5 times. So whenever you do 17 divided by 20, you get 0 0.85. And then to change that, the percentage times about 100, and you would get your 85%. So both methods work. This one's probably a bit simpler for this one. But again, this one will be you'll come in handy later, and you'll see another example to show you that. Okay, now we're going to convert 2 fifths to a percentage. So 2 fifths, 2 over 5, using the first method would be quite, quite, quite simple to do, because 5 is a factor of 100. So if you were to times top and bottom by 20, because 5 times 20 is 100, you would get times the top, uh, top by 20, you get 40, times the bottom by 20, you get 100. So that's 40 out of 100, which would be 40%. Using the second method, you're going to do 2 divided by 5. So again, bus shelter, so 2 divided by 5. Put a decimal point in some zeros because you know it's a decimal number. 5 into 2 doesn't go, remainder 2. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. Oh, so that's 0 0.4. So if you times 0 0.4 by 100, you get 40%. So both methods work. Um, the dividing one's quite quick and simple, but the top one's probably the way I would do it. In our last example, we're going to convert 3 eighths to a percentage. Now, the first method would be quite difficult here because 8 isn't a factor of 100. It doesn't go into 100. So there's not one single number you can times top and bottom by to get it to become 100, or a single integer whole number. So what we're going to actually do is just use the second method. So we're going to do 3 divided by 8. So use the bus shelter method, 3 divided by 8. Remember to put your decimal point in some zeros. 8 into 3 doesn't go. Line up the decimal points. Uh, so 8 into 3 doesn't go, remainder 3. 8 into 30 goes 3 times, remainder 6. 
8 into 60, well, 8 times 7 is 56. So 8 into 60 goes 7 times, remainder 4. And 8 into 40 goes 5 times. So you get 0 0.375. So if you times that by 100, you get 37.5%. And I actually think that's probably the easiest way to do that one.